Hey guys, it's Richard from Watch Tech. Right, this is my next video for you. I promised the budget PC build, and this is it by right here. It has got a Ivy Bridge CPU, Ivy Bridge motherboard. It's got eight gigs of DDR3. Uh, it's housed in the Bit Phoenix case with four RGB fans. But I've got a few upgrades by right here. One is a GTX 1050Ti from ASUS and then thank you to be quite for sending this out this is the upgraded power supply because at the moment I'm using a old power supply so I'm going to get this installed and then we'll get to those beautiful benchmarks so continue to watch <laughs> guys you saw the budget gaming pc now i did do more tests than what i previously was going to do i did pubg did fortnite and csgo obviously it's going to be mostly free games so you know it's a quad core it's got eight gigs of ram it's you know a gtx 1050 ti it's got a 450 watt power supply provided by be quiet big thank you to them and it's housed in a bit Phoenix case. Now, yeah, 350 quid, yeah, it's not a lot of money these days. But if you're on a budget, at the end of the day, it, it does, it played CSGO at least 200 FPS. That is just insane for something so cheap. Yeah, PUBG and Fortnite, I mean, you could do some initial tweaking. Uh, that was my first time actually playing PUBG, so, I mean, sorry if it didn't exactly look good it's because i've never played it and sorry for the recordings on my phone it's because afterburner wasn't good it was playing up a lot and every time i was trying to run it it just kept crashing so there's something wrong with afterburner i tried it with the nvidia control panel as well that wouldn't work properly tried fraps that weren't working correctly so the only way for me to show you the FPS count was to record it. Now, the temperatures of the CPU were, it just hit 40 Celsius, didn't go above it. Then again, it's got the Silver Soul 135mm air cooler from Thermorite on it. Plenty enough for that CPU. The, the GPU hit 60, uh, 60 Celsius, didn't go above it. And that's in a case with four RGB fans with a lot of airflow in the front. Now, yeah, you could probably pick a cheap, crappy case from off eBay for like 30 quid. But the whole point of buying a budget system is you need to buy something that's going to be able to run games. Now, it, it will run different games. Obviously, I didn't test a lot of games because it's my first time doing a budget build. Obviously, if you want more, the next one I really want to do, it's about 150 quid for the CPU, the RAM, the motherboard. It is a Xeon and it'd be coming from AliExpress. I am hoping... That if you guys like this video, I can continue to do them. Not just do reviews, but do other things. Because I don't want to be that channel just does reviews. I want to do other 
project as well. Overall, there was a few dips in PUBG as well as Fortnite. That could be, you know, some error. To my fault, it could be. Sorry, also it's a 4-core. And generally, those type of games, they do heavily need more than 4-cores. But saying that, the 3470, still a good chip. Uh, the motherboard that came, came with it, it's a very good chip. As I said, the motherboard, the RAM, and the CPU were £49 on eBay. Yeah, it's used, but there's nothing wrong with that. £350 for a budget system, just the tower. Obviously, you could get, like, a monitor, but, you know, I'd say the monitor, the speakers, gaming chair, maybe 500 quid, and that would be perfect for your, your, your son, your daughter, or your niece, your nephew for Christmas. So... Overall, guys, look, it got over 60 FPS. Yes, it did dip in some games, but the overall performance was okay. And I actually enjoyed video actually doing the, the games. Now, uh, CSGO, that performed well, which was kind of expected. But that's why I run it with bots, because it does utilize the CPU more. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. The budget series, I want to start doing more. So if you like this type of content, the next one maybe I'll push it up a bit. So please hit the co hit the comments down below. Let me know if you enjoyed. And this is Rich Welshtag. I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas and a happy new year. There will be videos next week for Christmas. And there will be more videos for the new year. Maybe only one for the new year. But... Overall, I will be uploading and I got more stuff coming after Christmas. So, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and as always, this is Richard Welsh Tech. It'll be a fantastic Christmas and New Year.